with Arya, um, she we sort of made t- two main do's on her through the, through the first series, and that's one that's slightly like her dad. She's a very tomboy and the other one where the two plats are coming down but also we sort of made them a bit messy because she's just always playing, always in the rough. And then we had to have a wig made for her as well for the end because she has to go short. What we did was we pulled the wig all back and then we took weft and we sewed three pieces in before each take and then we left, we, dr- we dressed them out so they dropped forward so when Yorin grabbed her he could grab them and anything that was loose he could literally pull out and slice and then what we did was that cut then we would take away and re-stitch the next pieces back in. We got it down to nine minutes I think. Yeah we got time so we got it down to nine minutes. It was very scary actually because it's a real knife that he was using very close to my face actually cutting the hair it wasn't any it was real you know actually cutting it was scary you know he carries me through this big crowd plonks me down these steps pushes me against the wall it's very aggressive you know and she's just seen her dad get killed she's going through a lot lots of things are running through her head at that point and she's just trying to make sense of it all and it's all very rushed this man is in her face who she's only ever met once cutting her hair off, she's not sure what's going on when and why any of this is happening and it all becomes clear when he says that we're going north and that's sort of when she stops struggling and thinks okay this is what's going to happen, that's what has happened, she needs to take that and use it as almost a shield against other things.